Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. Today I am going to be talking about this Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. I received this in my November Ipsy subscription, and I've been using this for a few weeks now and have definitely formed some thoughts about it. So I'm going to talk a little bit about this company, as this is the first thing that I've used from Laneige. I'm going to speak about this product in particular, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts and review on it. I'm also going to put timestamps down below for all of this, so you can skip to whatever part of the video you want to watch. I should also mention that if you are somebody who watches my videos when they come out, first of all, thank you you so much for being somebody who does that. Um, this is a crazy week for me. Uh, I had people visiting over the weekend, which means I didn't get to sort of film some videos for the week on the weekend. Uh, it's busy time at work. I'm planning a big event for Friday evening, and it's just busy, busy, busy. So I'm going to do the best that I can to get videos out, but please uh, be a little understanding. I haven't, I haven't disappeared. I just haven't had a chance to sit down and film if I'm not posting at the usual times that I post this week. And if you want to know when I do post, uh, I usually try to do it Monday, Wednesday, Friday, between like 4 and 6 p.m. But if you hit the bell button that is down below, once you have subscribed, then you'll be notified when I post my videos in case it's a week like this and things get a little crazy. Uh, let's start talking about Laneige. If you watched um, when I did my unboxing of my Ipsy uh, subscription bag for this month, I looked at this and thought at first that it was a super, super high-end brand. And the confusion that I had there was Laneige, which is this, and La Mer. Uh, Laneige means the snow in French, and La Mer means the ocean in French. Uh, this is not the brand that I thought it was. It's actually not a French brand. It is a Korean brand. Uh, so let me tell you a little bit more about it. The company Laneige is actually a South Korean brand, and it is owned by the parent company Amore Pacific. It was started in 1994, and to begin with, they really focused on uh, companies in Asia. They opened over 200 actual uh, Laneige stores there before expanding into Europe and North America. Here in Canada and also in the US, you can buy Laneige products through Sephora and they have a whole range of skincare products and a few cosmetics products. So they do have things like foundation cushions, uh, but most of what they have focuses on skincare. Amore Pacific, which is the parent brand of Laneige, uh, is a South Korean beauty brand. It's one of the largest in the world. They have 33 uh, brands underneath them. Just reading a couple here. Uh, Innisfree, Laneige, uh, and Etude House, which you may have heard of if you follow uh, some international beauty brands. So Laneige really focuses on the power of water and some scientific complexes that go into their ingredients. So they talk about advanced water science skincare, um, and they talk about a few of the ingredients that they use. So moisture recharging magnesium, cell metabolism boosting manganese, cell renewing zinc, moisture locking ceramide, collagen restoring biopeptides. Uh, each Laneige customized complex is enriched with active ingredients technologically formulated to penetrate deep into the skin, delivering exactly what your skin needs when it needs it all day long. There's a lot there, but they're really going in for like the scientific, giving your skin the right ingredients that is going to actually make things happen. Uh, and they do describe that throughout their skincare products. They do kind of go a little over the top with some of this stuff. Like they say after 20 years of research, only Laneige laboratories have unleashed scientifically engineered, skin perfecting, mineral water, clinically proven to hydrate, protect, and revitalize individual skin types. There's a lot that they're promising in there, but moisturization, um, you know, getting your skin more hydrated, this is very helpful. I think a lot of issues probably stem from skin being dehydrated. Now, what a lot of people need to do is not only put those moisturizing ingredients onto their skin, but also drink more water, get more moisturization into your body so that your skin isn't dehydrating itself. Uh, even if you are oily, skin still benefits from moisturizer, from hydration. Uh, just because your skin produces a lot of oil doesn't mean that it's hydrated. So I, I think there's good ingredients that are going on here in this brand. I just think they're kind of overselling it a little bit. So let's talk about this product itself. If you are here in Canada and you want to buy this at Sephora, it's going to cost you $24 for 20 grams of product. As a comparison, this little container here, now it's not actually this entire container. If I turn this, you can see it's that sort of little bubble bump that comes down under there. But this is three grams of product. So you're going to get 
you know, what would that be? Almost seven times the amount of product that you get in this little sample. And I've been using this for a couple of weeks and I've gotten into it a little bit, uh, but 20 grams is gonna last you for a while. And in the grand scheme of products and prices at Sephora, $24 Canadian is not too bad for a product that works well. As a comparison, the Bite Beauty Agave Lip Mask, which a lot of people talk about loving, uh, you only get 15 grams of product and it's going to cost you $30. So if you're comparing it in that way, this is pretty affordable to compare to some other sort of sleeping lip masks that you can get at Sephora. So this uh, lip sleeping mask is described as a softening balm that closely adheres to lips for quick absorption. It's enriched with vitamin C and antioxidants and it's berry mix complex offers a nutritiously sweet and fragrant blend of raspberry, strawberry, cranberry, and blueberry extracts to indulge the senses. We'll get back to that in my review in a moment. Its exclusive moisture wrap technology boasts hyaluronic acid and minerals to form a protective film over the lips to lock in moisture and active ingredients. A generous layer of this soothing mask at bedtime helps reduce flakiness so you can wake up to lips that feel refreshed, supple, and soft to the touch. If you get this in the full size, it does come in a tub format, but you do get a little uh, scoop with it to be able to get it out of the container if you don't want to be dipping your fingers into it. So if I had the full size of this, I'd use the little scoop, put a little onto the back of my hand, rinse the scoop off, and then go from the back of my hand to my lips with it, just so that you're not going into a tub all the time. I mean, it would be nice if it was more of a um, dispensing sort of tube or something to put right on your lips, but this isn't bad. So my thoughts on this, and maybe you've gathered this from me talking about it along the way, is I quite like this product. Uh, I find that it is thick in a nice way. It's not overly thick. So if you've tried the um, Bite Agave Lip Mask or the Hanalei Lip Treatment, um, it's not as thick as those, but it is uh, thicker than, you know, your average chapstick or balm. Uh, it does feel like you could put a thicker layer of this on your lips when you go to sleep at night so that when you wake up in the morning, there still feels like it's some of it there and your lips are really soft. What I do enjoy about this is there is absolutely no taste to it. Um, again, with the Hanalei lip treatment, um, I really liked it, but it tasted sweet and it just bothered me to have a taste of anything on my lips. I just want things to not have a taste at all. And this doesn't, which is really, really good. Now they talk about the berry complex in here and this does have a very nice berry smell to it. And if I'm just doing that, I'm like, yeah, I get berries. It's a very, candy-ish kind of berry. And in fact, when I put this on, I feel like it smells like bubble gum. <laughs> like when I first started using this before I even read anything about it, I was like, that's bubble gum scented. Like, like hubba bubba bubble gum. Um, which it's not, it's berries. And part of that may be the psychological thing of seeing this little like pink container because does that not remind you of like bubble gum coloring? Um, so, to me, it's a pleasant smell. The smell fades really quickly, like probably within a couple of minutes of having it on your lips, you're not gonna be smelling that berry or bubblegum smell anymore. Uh, for me, the taste is more important and not having like a gross smell or anything like that, but it's all really nice. I find I can use this at bedtime, put it on and wake up and my lips feel super soft, but you can also use this as sort of a gloss or a treatment during the day. And because it is so dry right now, I really like the fact that I can sort of put this on and you know it stays there uh, it gives you some nice gloss it doesn't have a color to it at all um, and if you're like going through your normal day you're talking you're you know moving your lips around uh, it stays on for a good two to three hours where you can still feel it on there during your day um, I find that lip treatments stay on longer at night because you're just falling asleep and not really doing anything but it's nice to be able to have the option of using this during the day and it really does feel like it it slowly sinks in so it gives you a protective barrier so that you sort of feel it on your lips and it sinks in and I have very, very dry, flaky lips. Um, they get really bad by the end of the day. I feel like this is making my lips smoother, softer, more hydrated, and even look a little plumper because there's more moisture going into it. So all in all, for me, this is a good buy. I mean, 
it's going to be a little like it's Sephora pricing so you are going to be paying for it but when you compare it to some other lip treatments that are out there, it's pretty reasonable for what it is and the amount of product that you get. And for me, the results that I get with it. So that's my review. Please let me know if you have tried other Laneige products, if you've tried other lip masks, if you've got other things that I should be using to hydrate my lips in the winter, especially if it's something that's affordable. I would love to hear about that. And I'm sure my other viewers would love to share uh, with each other down below, see what you have to say. Uh, I do respond and try to respond to every comment that I get. If you have not yet subscribed to my channel and you want to see more of my reviews, I will make my face pop up right there so you can click on it and be subscribed. And I'll put one of my other videos down here so you can watch it if you have not seen all of my videos. And I look forward to seeing you in my next video. How many times can I say video? That's enough for now. <laughs> Thanks so much, guys, and have a great day. Bye.